me, I'm looking to take a transition in careers. I've been doing a career um, with a very fruitful retirement system, and I'm looking to transition into something else because I don't really like the job where I'm at now. It's demanding and draining um, physically and mentally. When you see that desire and you want to get to What is the desire? To get away because from we, the negativity yeah, of the job. See, that's tricky. The desire to not be where I am. We see why you want to clean up your vortex, but it's not your vortex. <laughs> a desire for something different than the way that I feel. You don't have to identify the work, but what would it feel like to be? Because when you know what that is and you don't want it, what's over there? Describe this. Happiness, freedom. Yeah, freedom and happiness. And if you can fill in the details a little bit. I'm respected, I'm understood. People know that I'm good at what I do. They know that I work well alone, but I work well with others. They know that when I get clicking on something that I can stay with it. They know that I'm determined. They know that I'll follow through with things. They know that I receive levels of inspiration, big time levels of inspiration. They know that once I get going, I sort of never, ever want to stop. I love the idea of being with others that are like that marbles, matching marbles, matching marbles, matching who don't try to impose thoughts on each other. Instead, we understand the brilliance of each other and we like the collaborative thing that happens. I love interacting with people that are not looking for the credit all the time, but are feeling the inner satisfaction of moving in a direction. It's like, who cares who delivers the punchline? It's like the basketball players today, they get credit for the assists too. It's not just the people that are making the points. They're getting credits for the assists too. And oh, when you are understanding the value of working together like that, that's satisfying. There's a synergy and a satisfaction that you have experienced on many occasions, especially in the beginning that you can get back in spades. Doesn't that feel good? That's who you are. And you know how we know that? Because of all that you've lived and what you've put over there. We just described perfectly what's in your vortex. That doesn't need to be cleaned up. That is lovely. That doesn't need to be cleaned up. But feel how you feel right now. In other words, we just described to you something that is not a reality, a manifested reality right now, but it's a vibrational reality. And so you found the feeling place of it that's all that is required we want to make a very strong statement this is really good if this is the only thing you heard today it'll be enough whoops what was it <laughs> when you accept that the vortex exists and you don't need to know all of the details of it but the essence of it feels good to you and it's easy for you to find the essence of it then the manifestation of it will keep surprising and delighting you it's what in religion they often call faith it's a feeling without having the evidence but you got to practice that the evidence that you're looking for is interest eagerness enthusiasm awareness and as you follow that path then plenty to surprise and delight you Esther used to say I get how I could be delighted by letting it in but I don't understand the surprise part because didn't I put it all there we say yes you did but you put it there so incrementally and you have not exactly been aware of all of those cooperative components and the ability that they have discovered with each other to cooperate over there in that vortex of yours all those bags of marbles of all those cooperative components have been conspiring on your behalf so what's in your vortex is more than the sum of all the parts you put there so much more and when you get close to that and you get a hunch or you get a hit or you get a feeling or you get an interest and you follow it that's when it will surprise and delight you does that make sense and that's what you yearn for but yearning is not a good feeling that's what you're craving that's what you want that's what you remember and that's what you know 
at deep levels of your being as possible and that's what being alive in this physical body is about anything less than that is not enough you should be throwing fits all over the place if you don't feel like that all day every day if people are saying to you how you doing oh, I'm getting by really <laughs> really you want your answer to be I'm good <laughs> I'm good you don't have to tell them all the details don't tell them all the details I'm good I'm really good well why why are you so good oh, I got things going on what things stuff <laughs> stuff what kind of stuff really really good stuff fascinating stuff interesting stuff life-giving stuff invigorating stuff exhilarating stuff I feel like I'm flying Yep. Good? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You shifted. Your point of attraction is different. Connect the dots. 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 There is great love here for you. And for now. We are complete. <laughs> so good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next.